We're going to keep going with this example using the fertility rate and life expectancy for countries in 1962. So suppose that in 1962, a country had a fertility rate of 4.54 births per woman. Using the linear equation given on the graph, what would we expect that country's life expectancy to be? Okay, so this is kind of reversing the process of what we just did for the previous problem. So remember that the fertility rate is the x value right here. So they're telling us that we have a country that has a fertility rate of 4.54 births per woman. So that's telling us that x is 4.54. And then using the, and now I write linear equation here, but I could say the regression equation or the regression model. Some, we write that phrase a lot of different ways. So just be warned, <laughs> it's not always written the same way. So um, that way we could write it a lot of ways. So sometimes we'll say the model or the regression model or regression line. They all kind of mean the same thing. All right, so then what would we expect the life expectancy to be? So they're asking us, what is y? OK, so let's see. When we have the equation, the equation was, and I'll just write it this way, y Technically, it's with a little hat on it. I couldn't put the hat when I have Excel do this or actually Google Spreadsheet do this. It doesn't put the little hat on it because that's kind of an esoteric <laughs> a statistics point, but nevertheless. All right, so negative 4.6711x plus 81.51. So now I'm going to substitute. So I know that the x is 4.54. So when I write the equation, I'm going to say negative 4.6711. And in place of the x, I'm going to write 4.54 plus 81.51. This will be equal to my y. And this is a much simpler problem than the previous value, <laughs> um, so or previous problem. So we just go type this into Desmos. I will caution you, type it like you see it. So negative 4.6711 times 4.54, that's 4.54, not comma 54, plus 81.51. I can't stress this enough. You really have to type it like it looks. Um, a lot of people try to use the calculators on their phones, and they end up in all sorts of trouble. So just be warned. Now, you can make it times 4.54 with a dot instead. It's the same thing. So you can see that it's 60.3. So that gives us our result. Sorry, right there. So we see that y is approximately 60.3. And then its unit would be years. As always, when we have a unit in the problem, we use that unit. All right, now Gabon had a birth rate of 4.54. So this came from a real country. There really was a country, um, it's in Africa, that had a birth rate of 4.54 children per woman and a life expectancy of 39.56 years in 1962. Compute, draw, and label the residual, in other words, the error on the graph. All right, so residual, what is that? Well, I kind of put it out of order here, but there's a formula right here for residual right down there. So that's the formula for residual. Residual is the real life value minus the predicted value. So this is the real life y value minus the prediction from the line. So prediction predicted y hat from the line. That is what a residual is. It's just, hey, how off were you? That, that's all this is. It's, it's the fancy bit of, that's what I mean by error. It's just how off, right? How off are you? Sorry, there's a dog playing with a toy right near me. So if you hear banging, that's what that is. All right, so let's find what that value is. So we're going to take the residual we're going to write one of those formulas. I'm just writing it a whole bunch of different ways for our own benefit. So it's the real life y value, real life y, not real life e, real life 
y minus the predicted y hat, right? Which is kind of what we're finding here. That should have a little hat on its head. Okay, so in real life, we have 39.56. It's right here. So this is y, right? This is real life. Um, in real life. It really was 39.56. So I'm going to take 39.56 and I'm going to subtract my prediction, which is right up here, of 60.3. The units on both of these are years, right? So this is years and this is years. And that's going to be some value. <laughs> Let me go find it. So, okay. 39.56, take away 60.30, right? And it became negative 20.74. Oop, sorry, you can see what I was working on ahead of this. I'm trying to make lunch as well as make videos. <laughs> okay, so this is negative 20.74 years. It has the same unit as our y variables. They were both with years, so it also has years. Now let's interpret this value, right? How is Gabon doing in 1962? We expected 60.3 years, right? So this is the expected value. And this is what it really was. So expected life expectancy and real life expectancy. Maybe I should say that. Real life expectancy. So Gabon was not doing well. right? They, they're far below, 20 years below what we would expect. Right? So Gabon was, I believe there was a civil war around that time, was doing very poorly. It's not still doing this poorly. This was 1962. It was a long time ago. Right. Because the life expectancy in Gabon was 20.74 years lower than expected. Now sometimes being lower is a good thing. Uh, for example, your crime rate is lower. So if this was about crime rate, Gabon would be doing great because their crime rate's 20 lower than expected. But this is life expectancy. Life expectancy being lower is not a good thing. All right. So now let's think about what residuals mean to us overall. What are we, what are we learning from this? Well, the residual tells us how far off our values were, right? So we, can, we saw in this case, for example, we have a negative residual. Now keep in mind, negative does not always mean a bad thing. This one ended up being a bad thing because this was about life expectancy. Sometimes being negative is a good thing, right? just how it works. All right, so a negative residual we saw up above means the actual values, right, real life values, y values are lower. Um, I don't know why I put a bar over that head. I'm sorry. y values are below the line, below predictions. Which is where the line is. The line is your prediction. So let me give you an example here. So, and since I have a negative one to look at on the previous page, I'm going to make a positive one. Your line is right here. Negative residuals are all the values that are down here. So these ones down here would have a negative residual. Uh, let me do it in like orange. So these values down here would have a negative residual. Right, because their values are below that line. The predictions are below, or excuse me, the values are below the prediction. The line itself is the prediction, right? So your prediction is the line. 
all your prediction values are up there. Pre predicted values. Predicted values are the line. And then all the ones that are above the line up here, all of them, including that one, <laughs> those have a positive residual. Keep in mind, positive and negative is not necessarily a good or bad. It just it is what it is. So an actual value being below the line looks like that. The actual values, actual real life y values are above the line and you're only looking vertically you're looking at the y values so the y values are above the line the predictions which is the line there. those are like this now a couple other things actually several other things. One, it always has the same units as your actual pro, um, y values. So whatever the units are from the y values, that's your unit. So the y value unit is your unit. Like in our example here, it was years because both the y values are in years. Next, I will say this a lot of different ways. So I'll say the least squares regression line, the linear regression line, the linear model. I'll say it a whole bunch of different ways. Um, the the best line is the line that makes those residuals the smallest they can be. Right? That's what makes it the least squares regression line. That's why it's called that. It's because it balances out the positives and negatives um, regression or excuse me, residuals the best they can possibly be. So the least squares regression model is the model that does the best job. So it's the regression line or the linear model or whatever I call it, but it's the model that does the very best at balancing the residuals. So uh, the model balances best the positives and negative residuals and also makes them as small as they can be. There's more about that, but you would take another course for that. Um, the size of the residual can tell you how well um, the model is fitting the situation. Smaller residuals generally means a better fit. Now that doesn't mean a better thing. Like I'm not talking about you know whether Gabon was doing good or bad. So that's another important note. I'm just going to add down here. It's tempting to kind of say, oh, positive means good, negative means bad. Not necessarily. So um, positive residual. can mean good or bad things for the data point, can mean good or bad things for the data point, depending on context. Same thing with negatives. I just wrote this for positives or negatives. It depends on context. So, for example, life expectancy, we just saw above. So, life expectancy, a negative residual was a bad thing, right? It meant that the country had people not living as long. But if it was crime rates, for example, I'm just thinking of something off the top of my head, a negative residual would be good because it means crime is way down in that area. So it depends on the context. Also, I want to go back and just show you um, the error on the graph. I did mention it up here in this problem, and I, I did not forget about it. I just wanted to wait a second to go do it. So the residual is the distance on the graph that you see. So Gabon is a country that had 4.54, but only had a life expectancy of 39.56, which means that's Gabon right there. We can label it. There's Gabon. Just by knowing the points. So Gabon was 4.54, um, 39.56, which meant they had a life expectancy of 39.56 years and a fertility rate of 4.54 
which is of course another question your professors can ask you. You know, what does this point mean? So it means that's their fertility rate, that's the life expectancy. Okay? The residual is the distance from here to here. That's the residual. The residual is negative 20.74. I think it was, yes, negative 20.74. So that's the residual. So that residual is that distance. It's how far off we were. So up here's the prediction on that line. So that prediction is right here. But what it actually was, was down here, right? So the actual Gabon is down here. And the difference between the two, that's what the residual is. This would be births per woman this would be years. And the residual is in years as well. Right? It has the same unit. It's a vertical distance from the point to the line. Down here is not good for these countries. Up here would be good for these countries, but that's solely based on the fact that the context here is life expectancy.